Hey, hey, peeps. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. So I wanted to share the one and only Easter journal that I created um, as my design team project for Tsunami Rose. Um, we were supposed to have a YouTube hop, but unfortunately, due to some personal issues with our sponsor, Daisy, um, we had to cancel, but I still wanted to share the journal that I created for it. Um, if we do ha uh, decide to do another hop, I will let you guys know. So, this journal is um, two signatures. It is soft-covered. I initially wanted to do hardcover, but... I actually put the hardcover together and I didn't like it and so I decided to go with my softcover. <laughs> so let's get started because it is a chunky monkey. I absolutely love the profile of it and um, let me show you the tassel first so I can take it off so it won't be so noisy. So these are just some wooden and plastic beads. And it says Bunny Trail. The letters say Bunny Trail. Um, that's what they spell out. I wanted to spell Easter Bunny, but um, I didn't have a capital E. These beads didn't have capital letters. And I kind of felt weird about, I don't know, spelling Easter with a lowercase E. So, um, yeah. So, I just added these beads, like I said. So pretty. And um, just tied this bow up with some lace and of course you can just take it off um, this fabric I thought um, I mean the beads I thought really looked really nice with the fabric and so let's take that off so what I did for the closure is I went underneath the image so if you don't like it you can um, just slip it out and replace it with something else that you prefer. This image is actually from a book called Home for Bunny. Um, and so um, this was, I think, the title page and I just cut it out and stitched it on some patterned paper. And then the Spring is Calling. This is from the paper collection that I use by P13. And so I just crumpled it up and inked it. And um, I made this little pocket with some uh, transparent paper. No, a pot, uh, photo sleeve. <laughs> Jeez, a photo sleeve. And so, like I said, this part in the middle is not glued down, so you can easily just slide it out, but everything else is glued down. Underneath is this, um, I don't know what to call this, crochet, knitting, I don't know, some kind of trim that I got. Um, and it's underneath can barely see it but it's kind of peeking out behind it and so here is the image so adorable and I just made a tab with the leftover um, trim from here and then added a paper flower and a um, button floral button up there as well and then the back I just did my messy stitching and so you can journal on the back you can replace this with a photo of your choice so that is that and of course I have the four book corners as usual and again two signatures I didn't cover the spine because I just didn't think it needed anything else but if you want to put something on the spine you can absolutely do that so again it is two signatures and this was so much fun. I've never made a Easter journal before and I've definitely never made like with like cutesy images of bunnies and and chicks and it's just adorable. Just adorable. And I'm going to link the kit, all the kits that I used by Tsunami Rose down in the description box below. So here is the front pocket. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. All right. So the front pocket here. I did some of the um, ephemera. I created some of the ephemera on my U my Ustream. Ustream. <laughs> my YouTube live stream is what I wanted to say. Um, so you may see something that if you was in the stream, then you would, you would recognize it. But this 
was uh, created um this is an image in a book that i got and i just thought it was so adorable it's a vintage book and so i just did my messy stitching i added this little um, vocabulary from tsunami rose it says easter dress little lace behind it some uh sheer ribbon at the top and then inside is just a little pocket with a ephemera piece that you can journal on so that is that just some leftover paper and then this is my favorite <laughs> tsunami rose ball jar and then the back of course you can journal this is from the um ideals easter uh, magazine that I have and so I had to take this out and put it in here for you to maybe if you want to cut this out or you want to use it someplace in here just kind of left that option up to you Easter Bunny trails I thought that was cute the image that goes with this is actually inside so the pocket sorry if you hear the noise that's the breath um, so the pocket is fabric and this lace And then I reinforced the spine with some fabric underneath the signature. This paper again is from P13. I added some pom-pom trim that I stitched on. It's a little pocket here with a tag and some fiber. It's a cute little kit. I used her other digital on the back for writing. See, look doily that I just glued on for decorative purposes. It's a little femur piece here and then Easter Bunny down at the bottom. Here is one of the pages for from the Home for Bunny book. It's a ledger. It's the file folder. And this um, I got in Happy Mail, so I'm not sure where it came from, but I just love I have a couple of these that I got in Happy Mail. This is some stationery. This is a little tuck that I made using some lace and the flap of an envelope that you'll see when I turn the page. And then this is some ephemera. And then I just tucked some of these postcards from the kit that you can journal on. Here's the envelope. Um, this is the card base right here, this purple and white, and I stitched it onto, I'm sorry, I glued it onto the envelope and I stitched this from the paper collection and kind of made a belly band. So I have these two tags tucked in there. So you can, if you want to tuck that there, tuck that there. And then because it's a pocket, there we go, it's a pocket for the envelope. I put another one of the bowl jars there. So that goes inside there. And then this is a glassine bag that I added some lace on. And again, some of the ephemera. This is some that I got in Happy Mail, so I'm not sure again where that came from. This is from my Bills Magazine. This is the altered guest check that I created in my my YouTube live. It's a little tag here. This is some um, letterhead paper and I just used a, str a strip of the paper that I had left over. And then this is from the title of the book and I added two um, transparent stickers there. I printed on vellum. This is from my uh, Peter Rabbit book. Super cute. Of course, Peter Rabbit had to come in here. One of these days, I'm gonna do a Peter Rabbit journal. I have so much Peter Rabbit stuff and I have not made a journal from it yet. And here's the other side and I thought it was so cute. Look at that image. So I added this car, uh, vocabulary card that says family because I thought that was so cute. And then just added this little decorative 
ribbon right there. Trying to remain, remain in frame here. Some coffee dyed paper. Uh, vintage children's uh, music sheet. It's a little pocket. A little tag. Added some lace here. Here's the middle of the signature. These uh, journal cards are from the paper collection. And this paper is so sturdy. It's super thick. So you can add photos on the back if you want. It's the other side of the music sheet. Little chicks and a duck, I think. It's another um, ephemera that I got in Happy Mail. Did a little punching up there. It's a little pocket. Some ephemera inside. Another little transparent sticker. So cute. Here's the beautiful image from the Ideals magazine. It's the other side of the glass theme. I just added a few little bits of ephemera that you can use throughout your journal. And as with all my journals, I always send a goodie bag of ephemera so you can further decorate. This is a altered uh, time card that I actually did in my live stream. Super cute. And then um, underneath is another one of the poems, Daffodil. It actually goes with this page. So you can use that in your journal as well. You can cut out that poem if you want, glue it somewhere, use it someplace else. Some more pom-pom trim. I really love using this pom-pom trim. I really need to buy some more. It's a little fussy cut image. Please don't judge my fussy cutting. I'm not the best at it. I'm not the best at it. It's a little pocket here. Postcard. Fussy cutting is not my jam. And I just don't um, see myself ever getting like a scan and cut or anything like that. Um, so, oh, it kind of bent a little bit. I probably tied it too tight. Here's the cute little image from the book. How cute. Oh, the other one. The other other page is adorable. Here's the body of the other one. Wait till you see the other the other uh, book page from that book. That was so cute. It's another transparent sticker. I made two pockets here. One wide one and one short one. Or narrow one, I should say. It's a tag with this super soft um, fiber. I don't know where that came from. Someone sent me that. It's so soft. I love touching it. And then bingo card by Tsunami Mose. I love her bingo cards as well. It's probably my second favorite thing besides the ball jars. So here we have the second signature. Again, we have um, some pom-pom trim. I have a belly band. This is an interactive belly band. I've never made one of these before and I was like, oh, you know what? Let me try it. So I thought that would be cute with some ephemera. And then we have her calendar page here. Slides right in there. Here's another page from my Ideals magazine. Another transparent sticker. Some more ephemera. There's so much ephemera with this kit. And then I added some extra ephemera that I had in my stash. Besides the uh, the journal cards from the paper collection. So the goodie bag is going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of leftovers. It's another uh, page from the um, Peter Rabbit book. Again, I added some ribbon here. And then this, I thought it was so cute. How they're gathered by cooking. So I put gathered together. another um, page that I uh, printed on vellum. Here I made a little um, 
banner with some leftover paper from the collection. This paper was so nice that I really didn't want to have any scraps left over. So all the scraps are coming with this journal as well, whatever I didn't use. So that you can use it to do whatever. You want to make more pockets, you want to do photo mats, you have the option to do that. Here's the other page of the Home for Bunny. It's a cute, cute little butterfly. There's another pocket, some ephemera. I added some of the scraps here and made a little banner. Or I don't even know what to call it, flag, I don't know. It's a vintage Easter postcard. Some writing on the back. It doesn't have a date on it, so I don't know how old it is, but it is vintage. Got a little ticket here on the ledger. And then this was from a vintage book that I had as well, and I thought it was so cute. Everybody's all dressed up in their little dresses, so I just put Sunday roast up there because I imagine they're eating like Sunday roast for like Easter dinner. My mom used to make a roast on Easter. Um, so I thought that was cute to add in there. I added some more lace on this page. It's the middle of the second signature. And then we have these journal cards from the paper collection. Again, I did some fussy cutting and cut out these. Again, not the best at it. Oops, upside down. Not the best at the fussy cutting, but, um, they were so cute that I really wanted to use them. A little piece from the book, another transparent sticker. I did another fussy cut right there. Another sticker. This I did on the live as well. The little tiny tag in there. This is actually a coin envelope. Not a coin envelope, the coin sleeve, is that what you call them? You know, when you want to put the coins in the sleeve. Anyway, that's what that is. <laughs> Here's the other side of the book. Look how adorable that is. Oh my gosh, I had to use that. How cute is that? Super cute. And then the envelope, I printed on the other side as well. And then these are just journal cards from the paper collection. I love this envelope. It is so cute. It is so cute. I tell you, Daisy does such an amazing job on her digitals. It's another pom-pom trim. Another one of the ball jars to the back. And then I had this in my stash, little Peter Rabbit tag. A little punch right there on the side. Look at the, um, what is, um, not, are they, they're not gnomes, right? Are they gnomes? Are they goblins? I don't know. But anyway, they got a basket of eggs. A little Easter bunny. I don't know what they are. Elves? I don't know. I get them all confused. Here's an altered flashcard. I did this one in my live as well. And you can do some like secret journaling on the inside. And then behind it is some ephemera. Oops, that came off. That was paper clipped. How cute is that bunny in that cup? So cute. That was right there. And then the back pocket, we have another one of the calendars. Telegram. And bingo card. Super cute. I love using the pastel um, card stocks on the back because I don't really get to use a lot of colorful card stocks. So I like being able to use it in this 
journal. So that is the journal, but I have one more thing to share. Look how cute. Oh, I love, love how, oops, the pink one is, let me get the pink out. I love how cute this came out. At least I think it came out cute. Oh, look how beautiful. Anyway, so the last thing I wanted to share is this vellum envelope that I made. I had printed a lot of vellum and I decided to make this one an envelope. I used one of my washi um, sticker uh, stamps right there in the corner. And then I used the ephemera to make a little pocket. I just put bunny treats in this little ticket. And then I just tied it with this purple um, ribbon. And there's some trim on the back. And I just added some some ephemera on the inside but again you're still gonna get even more ephemera than what's in here so and there's a good amount in here so we have um, some stationery a couple of sheets of stationery another um, bingo card and these are um, Polaroids you can add photos inside they're adhesive you might want to add a little bit more adhesive but they are adhesive and you can had photos in there so I thought that would be nice for you to add maybe your Easter photos in there and then a couple of more tickets and that is it and again like I said you're gonna get a, another bag of more oh, of more ephemera as well so you can go crazy and decorate uh, even more so I hope you like this journal please let me know what you think it will be listed in my Etsy shop by the time you see this video. Let's see if I can slide this on here without untying it. By the time you see this video, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, have a great one. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, bye.